Now that we're more familiar with the layout of our boards and they're plugged in and ready to go, I want to talk a little bit about some terminology and some features that are common to all Express consoles. Despite some of their physical differences, um, a lot of these things carry through from console to console. Um, and once you know how to run one Express console, you can run all of them using some of these basic concepts. I want to explain a little bit about what we mean by channels and dimmers on an Express console. By channel, we mean a device of control. On an Express console is represented by a number. Uh, typically, depending on your Express console, it will range from 1 uh, up to 96 uh, at, at maximum, but some Express consoles can actually go up to 250. It just depends on your, your particular Express console. But in any case, a channel is basically a device of control that is expressed um, uh, usually in a level, and in a percentage from 0 to full. This is what you're actually programming into um, your cues or your submasters or, or your faders. Um, so that's, that's a channel, and each Express console has a different capacity of channels. Each Express console also has the capacity for 1,024 dimmers. Uh, and typically the dimmer, and that's what we refer to, it's just the device in your theater that makes the lights get brighter and dimmer. Uh, and usually you assign a dimmer to a channel via patch, and we'll, we'll go over that. Um, and basically when you bring the channel up to 50%, any dimmers that are associated with that channel will also go to 50%. Uh, now despite the channel counts, all Express consoles have this capacity for 1,024 dimmers. Once you've set your levels and you have your channels, um, all Express consoles have the capacity to record 600 cues. And a cue uh, is the term that we use, which is basically a look. You bring up a, a look on stage, and we call that a cue. Uh, you can record up to 600 of those for playback in your show. Now, one very important feature that is on all Express consoles that we want to make sure we cover and that you know very well uh, is the help feature. Uh, there's actually a help key which is located uh, here above the clear button on your CD fader pair. It says help. Uh, the great thing about the help uh, feature is that it's like an online user manual. Uh, so to access that feature, I simply press the help key. And I will get a dialog box on my display that says press any button to receive a brief description of that button's function. For instance, if I press channel, I now get a description and a few examples on how the channel button is used. Uh, once I'm familiar with that, I can press any button to continue, as it says here, um, and I will be back to my normal display. But the help is a great feature, uh, and it allows you to um, get yourself out of trouble if you forget what a button does. It also works on soft key. So those are some of the conventions that you'll be, uh, and some of the terms that you'll be using on your Express console, um, and those pretty much stay the same through, through all of the desks.